Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Yeah. How are you? Eli, ¿cómo se yo? Ah, mejor porque no es COVID. Confirmado, ya, ya me hice el examen, pero sí es bronquitis. Hay que cuidarse un montón, la verdad. Sí, bastante, bastante. Como bueno. acá en la zona donde vivo es bastante fresco, entonces. Usted vive en el lado de Sonsonate, ¿no? No, yo vivo en Lourdes, ah, este, pero, pero igual. En la casa... Ajá, la casa en la que yo vivo está ubicada de una manera que el viento sopla de una manera riquísima. No, me imagino. Pero ahorita que estoy enferma no lo siento tan rico. <laughs> not, not that good, you see. Okay, good. So, but remember to cover with a scarf. Remember to use a scarf, to wear a scarf, because that is going to help you a lot to keep covered. Okay, hello Iris, hello Rosario, Maximo, and Maritza. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to see you in another day of classes. Today is our class number 15, and we are going to be working on the final evaluations. We are going to review the platform, and for sure, we are going to finish with the topics of the day. So I am very, very happy to be with you once again. How was your day? Was it good, bad, excellent, so-so? How was your day? Good. It was good, they say, it was good. Fantastic. It is, how was your day? Good, teacher. It was good. Mr. Omar? How was your day? Very fine. Mr. Maxima? Good. It was good. Uh, Arvin, how was your day? And Miss Maritza, how was your day? Good, teacher. It was good. Okay, so we're going to start today by working a little bit on the exercises that we were missing on the platform. So I hope that all of you had the opportunity to finish already. Yo creo que todos los que estamos aquí ya terminamos, así que eso ya no va a ser un, nada complicado. And if we haven't, we are going to have the chance to do it. Okay, so we are going to go over this a little bit. I know many of you finished already. And we are going to go here. I am going to go as a stop. And I am going to go to section number five. That is the one that we finished yesterday, right? We finished section number five yesterday with the topic of can and can't, right? When, when do you use the words can and can't? Do you remember? In which situations do you use can and can't to talk about what? My abilities. To talk about abilities, very good job. When you talk about abilities, you use the words can and can't, right? That is the main purpose. When the ability is positive, you use? Can. Can, and when the ability is negative? Can't. Can't, good. Let me see. Uh, we have here, right, the different exercises of the unit. And in this one, the first, uh, the first practice that we had was about sports, right? And according to the, to the image, we are going to complete the conversations. I know you finished this one and it says, conversation one, Omar, can you help me to read the conversation? Read the conversation. This one. Read. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to read it. I watch sport on television every weekend. Really? 
What sport do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. Can do you usually watch soccer? Okay. Can do you? Is it possible to use can as a WH word? It says, do you usually watch soccer? And it says on Sunday afternoons. That is the next part of this conversation here. It says on Sunday afternoons. So if you are going to talk about a day, what a specific WH word do you need in the conversation? When. When, so you need to use when. When do you usually watch soccer? And it says on Sunday afternoons, good. And here we have at home, what question do you think it's necessary for you to complete this question? Where? Where, right? Because you, you have as an answer at home. And it says, no, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. And in this one, it's talking about, what is the name of this sport on the picture? What is, what is the name of this? Ride a bike. Ride a bike or cycling. Right? Riding. Or Please. bike. Bike riding, right? Bike riding. Cycling is cyclism, right? So it says, often, what is the word that accompanies often? How? Oh. How often, very good. So you have, how often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Usually at about one o'clock. What is the question that we need there? What? What time? What time? Okay, I have here only, a, let's see if I have what time. Well, what time? What time do you go? A, no, 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 it says, do you go? And it's, you don't have time. So you need when, when do you go? When do you go for you to have a specific um, moment of the day? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Do you usually go with? If you are going to yeah. talk about a person, yeah. who, right? You who? use who. Who do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time, right? And you submit everything. And for sure you are going to have perfect conversations in this part of the platform. In this one, what you have here, is in this case, we're going to talk about can and can't. Yesterday at night, we did this exercise, right? It was the last exercise that you did in class. And we were talking about abilities. And it says, I can't draw, right? But this one, what was the, the exercise of this one? What was the answer? Can. 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 I can act. What about this one? Cannot. I can't, can. right? I can't sing. What about this one? I can. I can fix cars. Very good. What about this one? I can. I can. Cannot. I cannot or I can't play tennis. What about this one? Cannot, can, can, can't, cannot. I skate very well. I cannot or I can't. That's good. I skate very well. What about the piano? Can, I can. I can play the piano. And cooking? I can't. I can't cook at all, right? I can't cook cannot. at all. So that was the situation for the pictures. We did these ones yesterday in the <coughs> class, right? So... The final exercise that you had on this unit was the article, right? We did this article yesterday. Yesterday, we read the article, right? We read the article. And in this one, the information that we have, the place, <laughs> it was New York. The distance, 320 meters. And the winning times, 10 to 11 minutes. What about this one? What is the place that they are talking about in this uh, reading? We did it yesterday. What is the place? From Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. 
Very good. It was from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. What is the distance that they have to go in this uh, activity? 2,900 miles. 2,900 miles, right? And what is the winning time for this activity? What is the winning time? How many days? It eight lasts? to 10. It lasts eight to 10 days, right? right. Eight to 10 yeah. days. Here we have. Very good. Okay. In this one, can you analyze place, uh, distance, and time? <laughs> Arkansas River is the down right race. Arkansas. Arkansas. And the distance? 25.7 miles. Very good. Um, and the time two hours. Two hours, right? It takes two hours. It says Arkansas. Good. Arkansas. We have, what is the distance? 25.7. 25.7. And two hours, right? Two hours. And the last one. I need Rosario to give me the place. Maritza is going to give me the distance and Arvin is going to give me the time. Uh -huh. What is the place? Alaska. Alaska, right? The distance? What is the distance? <laughs> what is the distance? Uh huh. One. One thousand. One thousand. One hundred. Fifty. Okay, this is 50. important. This is important. When you read big numbers like this one, you say, this one is thousand. How many thousands do you have? One. One thousand. This is hundred. One hundred. And then you say the number, fifty. 1,150, okay? So in this case, how do you read this one? ¿Cómo leeríamos este? 1,000. 800. 800. 50. Very good. And the time, Arvin, what is the time? Nine to 12 days. Nine to 12 days. Very good. So this one was this one and nine to 12, right? Nine to 12 days. Excellent. So this was the reading about. Right? This was our last evaluation for this section. And after this one, we have six different evaluations for the final exam that these were the ones that you finished already, right? In the final exam, we have six evaluations. Maximo, what were the evaluations that we had? I sent them to you yesterday. Ayer les envié la lista de qué evaluaciones yes, iban a yes, hacer. Yes, teacher. What was it? Mi pregunta era uh -huh. porque Alguien dijo que ya había hecho la, el examen final uh -huh. y había una pregunta que decía, ¿Are you Japanese? Uh -huh. Y no la encontré. Ah, no, but that was in the midterm. Eso lo hicimos en los exámenes de medio nivel. Ah. Eso sí, Ahora, mi, pero, pero, uh -huh. sí mi, eh, pero eso está en, en este, creo yo, uh -huh. en el final. No. Eh, okay. Pero, está eso de Japanés, este, es one. que eh, eh, como es bien yo no encontré esa pregunta ponerlo con mayúscula y poner este, okay. esa palabra justamente en Japanés. Let me see. Uh -huh. 
I don't find. I don't. I didn't find, find it. Okay. I didn't find it. Okay, let me see. No, it was not in this one. I think it was in the previous exams. Yo creo que eran los primeros que hicimos de medio nivel. Ahí estaba eh, ese ejercicio de Are you Japanese? Porque en este ya no, ya no entraba. In this one, we have the descriptions of the houses. On the listening, we had the conversation for the multiple choice. And in this one, any? we had, this one is multiple choice, right? Some and any, right? For this one, in this one, we had adverbs of frequency, right? That it was correct or incorrect. Mm -hmm. And this one, you had the WH questions. And we had can or can't and the conversations, right? So for the first one, for the first one, it was a listening about the different houses, right? It was a listening, up, yes? A mí no me salió ese examen. These Yo are the... terminé la plataforma y ya, ya incluso ya hasta tengo el título, el, el diploma, perdón, y ese examen no me salió. The final exams, did you sí. check? Yo creo que ahorita, no, no ahorita vamos, ajá, tendríamos que entrar, tendríamos que entrar y ver, porque sí, ahí tenía que estar, tiene que estar ahí. Por eso yo le dije de que pues el examen era el mismo pues, que, que el primer módulo. Sí, quizás se le había cargado diferente porque sí no, estaba. Que... Me acuerdo que lo vimos, pero en el mismo. Sí, ya lo vamos a revisar, Elisa. Si quiere, ábrala y la revisamos. Sí, ahorita. Ok, so we're going to go with uh, the listening, right? In the listening, you have different houses, right? That they have a description. And what you had to do with this one for sure was listen to the to the different audios and to check on the descriptions. And it says, listen to four people describing their houses, number the pictures from one to four, right? We have house number one, house number two, three, or four. What is the first one that you listen on the description? Do you remember? ¿Te recuerdan cuál era la casa número uno? Yes, teacher. Which one? Number three. Number three is number one. Let's see. Let's listen to the description. Page 45. Exercise oh. four. Listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. 2. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. 3. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. 4. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. So? It says, Page the, third, the first one, the first one says that he lives in the first floor and another family lives in the second floor. So it's a description of house number four, right? Because it has two floors. The second description, do you remember the second description? What is the one? number three? Uh -huh. But what, do you remember the description? Uh, yes. Sleep in a sofa. She sleeps, sleeps in the sleep. sofa, right? Another specific description of the house? It's an apartment. apartment, small. It's an, a small apartment, right? What about number three? Do you remember the description of number three? In which it's floor? An, in it's which in floor? Downtown. It's downtown, it's in the fifth it's floor. floor. Excellent, it's in the fifth floor. And what places are near her house? Restaurants. Restaurants and stores. 
And the last one, something interesting that she mentions about this house. It's, it's a, a little house. It's a little house. Another description. But, but it has a yard, a big yard. Exactly. It's a small house. It's nice. It's white. It's old. And it has a big yard, right? Imagine you with all this yard. ¿Cuántos palos de mango podríamos poner aquí? Imagine. In this very big yard. And a lot of makilis. It could be fantastic. So that was it's the so first. Nice. Yeah, we can have a lot of flowers there and fruits. So that was the first exercise, right? The first listening. In this conversation, we need to use some and any. And we did this one with some sandwiches, right? Do you remember? Yes. And it, it says, the store doesn't have any fresh salad. Well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make some. Some, because it is affirmative, right? Okay, do we have any. any any lemon? Because it's a question. Questions in negative, use any. The next one. No, we need to buy some. 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 We need to buy some. And we need some. some. We need some. some lettuce too. Oh, I don't want any. Any. I don't want any lettuce. I hate lettuce. Uh, then let's get some 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 olives no i don't want any 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 because it's negative right uh, but let's put some some some, some, some cucumber some. in it right and there you have the next evaluation in this one we have the correct adverb of frequency do you remember the adverbs of frequency Examples of adverbs of frequency? Usually. 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 Sometimes. How often? How um, often? Often. Uh, often. Uh -huh. Often. Not very often. Never. Another one. Never. Another one. Hardly ever. Always. Hardly ever. Always. Never. Always. Right. Very good. So those were the adverbs of frequency. These are adverbs of definite, indefinite frequency, right? And here, this is something that I wanted to share with you. Let me see. I'm going to go here. Let me stop for a second here. Adverbs of definite frequency are, for example, what we have here. I have every day, every Sunday, uh, all uh, on Sunday morning, right? These are adverbs of definite frequency because you know specifically when the things are going to happen. But adverbs of indefinite frequency are always, sometimes, never, almost never, right? Hardly ever. And that is the difference. Adverbs of definite frequency, they talk about a specific moment, right? Every day, every Sunday, on Sunday morning, every year, every two months, right? Because you know specifically the time. But these ones, you are not specific, right? You say always, but always can be always every day, always every hour, right? Always every month, and you don't know. So that is the difference. Eh, ¿Captamos la diferencia entre los que son de, de eh, frecuencia definitiva y frecuencia indefinida? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. So we can continue. I can continue living happily here. Okay, so now that we understand that, we are going to say, never I play soccer on weekends. Is it correct? Correct. It's correct. Correct. Incorrect. Apostaríamos la vida en esto? It's incorrect. It's incorrect. It's incorrect. And tell me why is it incorrect? Why is this sentence incorrect? Because el sujeto tiene que ir primero. Yeah. Ah, el sujeto va primero. So it says I never play. So this is incorrect. 
They usually study English at night. Correct. 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 Sometimes she feels very tired. Correct. 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 Because why? Porque. We can. We can use sometimes at the at the at the beginning. beginning. At the beginning or after? Or after the subject. Very good job, Maximo. Fantastic answer. He often called her in the morning. Correct, Correct. or incorrect? Correct. Is it correct, people? The rest of you? Correct. You say correct. Okay, I will put correct. You listen to me hardly ever. Incorrect. Incorrect, incorrect right? And then you click on submit. And for sure, they were correct. Good. So here, we go with the next exercise that it's for the WH words. What is the meaning of who? People. People. Where? Place. Place. When? Time. 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 Which? Choice. 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 In what? Thing or, Thing or object. Excellent. That was the easiest part of the exam, right? Ese fue el más fácil de todo. The next one. The next one. The correct use of can or can't. I am very hungry. I can. eat everything right now. Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Affirmative, right? I can. A cheetah. Cheetah, cheetah is an animal, right? A cheetah can. can run very fast. Maria. It's a can. question. Can. Can, can you help me? Can you help me? I do my homework. It's too difficult. Cannot. Can't. I cannot or I can't. Very good. Can't. I can't. A baby. Cannot. Can't. Can't drive a car, right? A baby can't drive a car. And the next one that we have. We in this one, we are going to complete the conversations. I am going to assign each of you one exercise. Let me see. Luis, do the first one, please. Do life. Tell him. Shh. Luis, do the exercise. <laughs> Go ahead, mister. Ah, se nos fue por pupusas, mire lo cachamos. Mister Luis Arevalo. Mm -hmm. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Penitencia cuando vuelva. Tirsa, what is the first one? Does 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 you live? Does and lives. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Respuesta definitiva. Ajá. Respuesta definitiva, Tirsa. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Penitencia. El número dos. <laughs> That's the <a> lips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, it you says, know. It, it's a question. With you, with you, we cannot use does. With you, we use. Ah. Do you live? Do you live? Luis, ¿cómo le We were Luis Areva, los number one, Mr. Luis, number one, and nothing. <laughs> you didn't never answer. With you, you can use do. And if you use do, you are not going to change the verb. In this case, is do you live? Do you live? in an apartment, 
right? Do you live in an apartment? Number two, let me see. Number two, I am going to give the opportunity to Iris. It says, no, I don't lie. Aha, don't and live, but live is on Facebook, right? This one is live. Cuando hacemos un en vivo en Facebook, ahí sí se dice live. Pero aquí es live. live. No, I don't. Okay. I live in a house, right? And it says, eat a yard. Maximo, help us. Eat a yard. Does it have? Does it have? Very good. Because. Does we... it have? Aha, very good. It's this one, right? You are paying attention. That's nice. Does it have? Because it's it, and with it, you use does. And for sure, if you have the auxiliary does, you don't change the verb. Good. Does it have a yard? Very good. Yes, it. Let me see. Elizabeth, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Very good. Because it's it, right? That sounds nice. That sounds nice, Arvin. Arvin, where are you? There you are. Hi. That sounds nice. You alone? Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Very good. And it says, no, I. And so do you live? No, I. Can you say, no, I doesn't? No, I don't. I don't. No, right. No, no I don't. Live. I live. Live is in yeah. Facebook. Live. <laughs> Vamos a hacer planas como favorites. ¿Se acuerdan al principio? That sounds nice. You, any brothers or sisters? Do you have? Do you, you have? have? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have, have four sisters. Really? Your house, many bedrooms? Does. Does in? Your house. Uh -huh. have. Does, very good. Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. Has. Yes, it does. It does have. Has. It has, has four. Has. You, your own bedroom? Do have. Do and have. Do you have? Very good. Do you have your own bedroom? And it says, yes, I do. do. Yes, I do. I am really lucky, right? Yes, I do. I am really lucky. And there you go. And there you have your platform. So what we are going to do right now is that I need everybody. Necesito que todos vayan aquí donde dice progress. Aquí donde dice progress. And I need you to, okay, this is because I am not doing the platform. I don't have the, all the bars up to 100, right? Hmm, yo fui ese estudiante que no hizo los ejercicios. ¿Y creen que este estudiante va a pasar al siguiente nivel con 54%? No, teacher Nati lo hubiera sacado. So I need you please to go to the progress and I need you to take a picture to the bars and send it on the WhatsApp group, okay? Let's do that right now. Vamos todos a la parte que dice progreso de su plataforma y le sacamos el screenshot a las barras aquí donde dice progreso. Y obviamente después pedimos el certificado. There you go. Mm, this uh, student didn't do anything. Okay, and I need you to send me the screenshot on the WhatsApp group, okay? Thank you very much. Excellent, I received one from Annalise. I received one from Luis, very good. I heard a teacher there. Can, can and this is me. Yes. Very good. I love to see these bars. 
Okay, very nice. You were asking about the different colors one day. Alguien me preguntaba que por qué las barras tenían colores distintos. Y son los tres partes. Las tareas, el midterm exam y el final exam. Eso sí representan los tres colores. Miren. As you can see here, that's why. And here you have the different colors. The final exam, the midterm exam, and the homework. That's the meaning, okay? No es que si era bueno, si era malo, si se apuraba, si no se apuraba, si sí, que no, si lo hacía a la una, a las dos de la mañana. No, it's the different sections. <laughs> okay, very good. I am receiving the different pictures. Very nice. Thank you very much. And in here, very good. I received one from Maritza. Very good. Rosario. Max, fantastic. And I have one, two, three, four, five right now. Six with Arvin. Seven with Iris. It is Janet Lopez. Okay. I have 11 people in this class right now. Well, 10 with me. I need three more. I am missing three more. Okay, send me the picture because we are going to use it. We are going to use it right now to check that we have everything done in the platform, right? That is going to help us to make sure that we have everything complete. Okay, but no, I haven't received anything else. Who is missing? ¿Quién no me la ha enviado todavía? Let's see, let's see. Because I need to have all of you, all of your pictures. Necesito todas sus fotitos, please. Okay, okay. And, no, 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 I am still missing. I am still missing some of you. Okay. Well, we're going to receive it. I'm going to wait to see who hasn't sent it. Omar, did you send me yours? Omar, me envió la suya. No, right. Me falta Omar, me falta... Quiero ver. Tirsa, did you send me yours? Yes, really. Ahorita. Okay, okay. Así les pongo a cheque a todos. Thank you very much, Tirsa. It is the, yes, you send me yours, right? It is sent me yours. And I think I am just missing Mr. Omar. To see if we are done. Okay. So thank you, my dear students. As you can see there, we have had all the progress in these different units that we have been studying. Believe it or not, we advance a lot on 16 different classes, right? It seems like we did it yesterday and we are almost, almost in the final day of classes. So, what we are going to do right now, it's, the, it's going to be a little bit of the final activity of the day. We are going to work in mini groups and we're going to have a little bit of interaction. What is this interaction going to be? For sure, I need it to be only in English, right? I am going to show you a picture and you are going to use it. Here, I am going to share it with you. Here we go. And with this picture, what we are going to do is to interact. And you are going to ask questions to each other on the different groups. How are you going to do it? For example, here we can say, or if not, we can do it here all together. And I can ask one person. I can say, for example, Elizabeth, can you cook? Can you cook? You can say, yes, I can. No, I can't. Elizabeth. So, so, 
So, so now we only have two options, can or can. <laughs> <laughs> here, I am going to have the other one here. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am going to have with it. So, so. <laughs> and there you have the other category. <laughs> no, no, no se me queme el agua, teacher. No se me queme el agua. <laughs> but you say like, can you, can you cook perfectly? To say like, no, this is like the perfect thing. We are going to go here with the, with the next category. I am going to add one more. Okay, for you to be happy. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you have the third category. I can, I can't, or a little. A little. A little, right? A little. Now, I need you please, I need you please to ask another person. Choose another person. You can say, for example, teacher Nati, can you cook? Or can you dance? Can you draw? Can you play the piano? Or you can choose any of the questions there. Choose another person in the room and ask. Uh -huh. Elizabeth, choose someone else. Escoja alguien más. Um, cha -cha -cha -cha. <laughs> ¿Quién no tiene prendida la cámara, Miss? Tirsa. <laughs> Tirsa, Máximo, Maritza. Arvin. Uh, vamos a ver Tirsa. Ajá. <laughs> sí. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Make the question. Can you? Can you dance? Can you dance? Can't. So you say, I can. I can. Dance. I can. I can dance. Very good. Now, Tirsa, ask another question to another person. Choose another person. Mm. Iris Lopez. Iris. Yes, teacher. Choose one question. Can you? And you have all the options here. Cook, dance, draw, drive a car, play the piano, all of these ones. Ahí está, ya se la hice, ya solo para que la lean. Can you? Go, Tirsa, make the question. Hágale la pregunta, Tirsa. Ah, ok, no había entendido. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> ok, go ahead. Okay. Can you try a car, Iris? No, I can't. Iris, another person. Okay. Um, Rosario. Rosario, uh -huh. Rosario, can you play tennis? Can you play tennis? Uh, can you? No, no, no. Ask the question. You... Okay, listen, Rosario. She says, mm -hmm. can you play tennis? Te está preguntando a ti. Can you play tennis? You say yes or no? No. Oh, so you say no, I can't. I can't. Very good. Now you ask a question to another person. Ahora usted le pregunta algo a alguien más. Eh, us, eh, us a computer. Ah, but who? Who? Um, ¿A quién? ¿A quién le va a preguntar? Uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Ay, otra vez voy a contestar a Elizabeth. Ah, ya ves por qué apagó la cámara. Ah. ah, o sea que Elizabeth ya había participado. Ajá, pero andaba está, ahí. Está prendida, está prendida, <risa> pero otra vez voy a responder a Little. It's good. La puedo encender, pero no la puedo usar a la perfección. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth, ask a question to Maximo. A Maximo, yes. Maximo, I can you speak to le language? Languages. Languages? ¿Cómo que se dice sandwich? <laughs> Maximo, can you speak to languages? 
Mr. Máximo. Bien se nos va a comprar pupusa. Se fue también. Ah, a little. Ah, a little, a little. Y el otro va rapidito. Se le fue, se le fue. Es que le quiere que le pregunte. Ah. Máximo, pregúntale a Luis. Es que son buenas las pupusas. Máximo, haz eh, la Luis, Luis. Yes, yes, yes. Can you tell good jokes? Ah, uh, I can't. I can't. I can't tell good jokes. <laughs> Only. But I uh -huh. can cook very well. Ah, but you can cook very well. Good, very good. Luis, ask a question to Arvin. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Arvin, can you swim? I can swim. Ah, but, I, uh -huh. but? But I can play the guitar. Very nice. Ask the question to Omar. Omar, can you use a computer? Omar, can you use a computer? Uh, hmm, another one. <laughs> Chen, chen, chen. Wait, wait, huh? Mr. Omar. Ajá, se nos fue a perder otra vez. Vea. Creo que vamos a la misma pupusería. Yo creo, ya voy a poner penitencia, fíjense. Mañana voy a poner penitencia. Let's si see. son buenas, digan dónde es. Let's see. Maritza, Maritza, can you swim? Maritza is with Omar in the same pupuseria. Huh. Miss Maritza. Se le solicita a las personas que están escuchando el micrófono de Maritza que le avisen que la ando buscando. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Iris, can you swim? I, I can't. I can't, you say. Good. I have a mystery. Who is A12? I, I just have the A12 here, but I don't really know the name. It's a mystery. Uh -huh, it's a mystery. I, I, have, I have been asking this and this and this for many days. ¿Quién es nuestro A12? No le hay el nombre. Bueno, okay. So we are going to finish today by practicing a little bit of reading. And here we have a, a, a reading about English, right? Learning English. And I need you please to check on the reading and tell me if you find new words or new vocabulary. Tell me if you find new words or new vocabulary. Sim. Sim, okay. I am going to mark it. Aquí se lo voy a ir marcando. Y después las explico todas. Sim. Ajá. Another one. Most. 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 But, but most. Most. Ajá. Another one. Read it. I need all of you to read the reading. And to analyze the vocabulary. Lot. Oh, Lot. Uh -huh. However, however, uh -huh. spend, spend, abajo de most. Okay, we have spending oh, and spending we spend. have yes. spent. Okay, the two forms. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Useful, the use yourself. Useful. Yes. Let me see. And yourself. Yourself. Here. Yourself. Yes. And yourself. useful. And here we have useful. Where is it? Atrás de yourself. Creo que está. Ah, useful too. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. It will be useful. Yes, there you go. Another one. Miss. Uh -huh. esta, esta contracción que está después de the, the words and phrases, creo que quiere decir. Ajá, uh -huh. phrases. Yo, yo, ¿cómo se este pronunciaría? Eh, la... de... Yo creo ah, que es have, ¿verdad? 
Yes. Ah, you, have, you have, you have, you have learned, right? You have learned. You have, you've, you've learned. You've. The pronunciation of the letter V is with the with the lips on your teeth. You say you've, you've. The sound. The normal B, right? La letra B, B como de, B de burro. It's B, and the other one is V. The this one. This one is V. You can say you've you've learned to communicate. Any other one? More vocabulary? New words? Teacher, uh, yeah? uh spoken. Spoken. Chin, chin, chin. Where is it? Deme la frase, porque si no me pierdo, aquí está. Also. 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 Right, also, another one. Another word that you don't know. Able. 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 Okay. Able. What else? Don't worry, aunque a usted le parezca así como, no, es muy sencilla. So, okay. Sooner. Sooner. Eso. Give me the phrase, give me the phrase. Va abajo, 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 se penúltima fila. <laughs> Sooner, <laughs> para abajo, para abajo. No, it's okay. Sooner. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. What is the other one? Immerse, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. <laughs> Good. Immerse. But what is spoken. it? Spoken. Spoken. Okay, we have a spoken here. Immerse. Yeah, Pokemon. Immerse. Uh -huh. Another one. Here we have a spoken. Good. And let me see. Uh, along. Do you know what's the meaning along? Solo. Creo que ese es solo, ¿verdad? No. Along. No. The solo es con E. Ah. A lo largo ah, pues sí, de Mark. Alone. Uh -huh. Any other one? No? You sir. Okay. Which one? You what? Star. You're Yourself. I have it right here. Mark. Esa que tengo marcada. Mm. Ah, sí, sí, ya está marcada. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Tips. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So, listen to the reading, and then we are going to stop for the meaning. Tal vez así, ya cuando la leamos, la escuchemos, podamos descifrar el significado. Learning English can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. And let me silent everybody. Okay. It takes a lot of discipline and dedication to learn a new language. But most importantly, it takes a lot of practice. Many people spend time memorizing words out of books. Some even write words and sentences on paper. However, until you make the language useful to yourself, it will never become part of you. Doing all those other things are okay as long as you are also spending time speaking the language and trying to communicate with others. When you use the words and phrases you have learned to communicate with others, the language becomes more natural for you to learn. Also, you are able to hear how English speakers answer. So you will know now the language sounds when it is spoken. Other tips on learning a new language are to listen to as much of it as you can being spoken by native English speakers. Turn on the radio and sing along to songs in English or watch television shows that are spoken in English and try to follow along and understand what is going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the sooner you can start effective communication with other English speakers. What is the meaning of sim? What do you think is the meaning of sim? It can seem difficult. 
English can seem difficult. What do you think? Parecer. What's the meaning? Parecer. Excellent. Puede parecer. Right? English can seem difficult. Seem means parecer. Right? Most importantly. What is the meaning of Muy most importantly? Most, más, más importante. Más importante, right? It takes a lot of practice. A lot of practice. Un montón de práctica. Exactly. Many people spend time memorizing words, like hours and hours and hours. Practica. Mm. Invertir. Invierte. Invierte. Invierte o gasta tiempo, right? Se gasta mucho tiempo memorizando, right? However. Sin embargo. Sin embargo, right? What is the meaning of until? Esta no me la dijeron. ¿Quién, quién se la sabe? ¿Por qué nadie la preguntó? Hasta. Hasta, right? Until you make the language useful. What is the meaning of useful? Util. Until you make it useful to yourself. What is the meaning of yourself? Tú mismo. Uh, in this case, it's a me mismo, right? There was a very funny commercial, right? Y me dije me mismo. Me mismo. Yourself, right? Useful to yourself. It will never become a part of you. Hasta que no encontremos el uso de este idioma para nosotros, nunca vamos a saber la importancia que tiene. Doing all those other things are okay as you are also spending, right? Spending, esté pasando tiempo, speaking the language. Eh, you have, it's like, que tú has, vea, que tú has eh, intentado, that you have tried. And also, what is the meaning of also? También. You are able to hear. You are able to hear. Eres capaz de escuchar. You are able. Able is ser capaz de o tener la habilidad de. You are able to hear. How English is spoken. What's the meaning of spoken? Hablado. Hablado, right? Spoken is the present perfect form, right? Es la forma de el participio de speak. Speak, spoke, spoken, right? And let me see. To follow along, right? Para seguirlo de esa manera. And understand. When you feel yourself immerse, like in Spanish, right? When you immerse yourself, In the, in Sumerso. Sumergirse, right? Cuando ya estás, cuando te sumergís en el idioma. The sooner you can start effective communication, right? Eh, the more you immerse, the sooner you can start. Sooner is the comparative form of soon. Soon significa pronto. Cuando le agregamos ER a soon, lo formamos a una forma comparativa. Ya no es pronto, aquí ya es más pronto que, right? O lo más pronto posible, right? As soon as you do it, the sooner you can start effective communication. Aquí dice, the more you immerse yourself in the language, entre más te sumerjas en el idioma, más pronto vas a iniciar una comunicación efectiva con otros hablantes del idioma inglés, okay? So, I am going to send you this right now to your WhatsApp groups. There you go. Because I need you to practice the reading. I need you to practice the reading and the fluency. Tomorrow, I am going to choose different people to read the paragraph, okay? So I need you to practice. I need you to practice reading the paragraph. Important, when you read something, you read up to every single sentence, ¿ok? Cuando estamos leyendo, no leemos por pedacitos. Leemos hasta los puntos y las marcas de puntuación que tenemos. Por ejemplo, aquí, esa sería nuestra primera frase. De ahí, it takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. Aquí termina la segunda frase. But most importantly, si tenemos una coma, nos detenemos un ratito y seguimos. It takes a lot of practice. Hasta aquí termina la oración. Okay, 
Tenemos que respetar la puntuación al momento de leer. So, you cannot say, learning English can seem difficult at first. No. Learning English can seem difficult at first. And you stop. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But most importantly, it takes a lot of practice and you stop, okay? I am going to send you the two things, the listening and the reading. I need you to practice, okay? So I need you to listen to the, uh, to the audio that you are going to receive and I need you to practice the reading, okay? That is going to be for tomorrow in our final class. Tomorrow we have a presentation. Don't forget it because it's our final day, okay? My dear students, I am going to see you tomorrow for your final presentations, the in practice and our final day, okay? No sé quién va a traer la pizza y los sándwiches para el último día de clase. La piñata. We're going to have a celebration tomorrow, okay? So my dear students, I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Have a beautiful night and rest a lot. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.